Hi friend, welcome to Zio Entire. This is again time to share one more video with you. So today I am going to tell something about what are the sources of the groundwater, what is the aquifer, and what are the different types of the aquifer. So now we will see what are the sources of the groundwater. There are three sources. One is the metaric water, second one is the conate water, and third one is the juvenile water. Metaric water, the source of the metaric water is the rainfall. Rainfall is the main source of the metaric water. When rainfall water goes through the river or small streams to the particular big river channel and that river channel at the end it meets to the ocean. So this is the surface runoff we can say that the remaining water it is infiltrated into the ground and after some period it is used as a ground water so this is the main source metaric water it is it is the metaric water then second water that is the conate water conate water it is also called as magmatic water this water is negligible and it is present in the only magma. So therefore, it is not source of the drinkable water. So that is not in use practically. Then third type of water, that is the, what we can say that, that is the juvenile water. When we see any sedimentary rock, it deposited at a suitable location in a basin or in a uh, any low line area. The sediments are deposited same time the water also deposited in that sediments and it takes thousands year to form a sedimentary rock and when we get water from that sediments or that rock that water is called as juvenile water this is also negligible water and that is not suitable for the drinking purpose so that is nothing but the juvenile water now we will see what is the aquifer aquifer is nothing but the conduit it is pipe like structure which store the water which transmit the water so main property of the aquifer it is porous and permeable in nature so porous means the empty spaces which are present in the particular rock that empty spaces are filled by water and permeability means the these pore spaces empty spaces when they are connected to each other so therefore what happens the water from one place to another place moves through the rock that property is the permeability so aquifer is nothing but the porous and permeable nature that formation is part of that when we see the aquifer, there are basically two types of aquifer. One is the unconfined aquifer and second is the confined aquifer. Unconfined aquifer in which what happens? The water, the groundwater under the atmospheric pressure and this water, this unconfined aquifer is very very important for the uh, groundwater purpose. Then second type we can say that that is the confined aquifer. In confined aquifer, the water is not under atmospheric pressure. It is uh, under the pressure of two impervious rock layers. That is called as confined aquifer. When we see the artesian aquifer, it is again type of confined aquifer. In artesian aquifer, what happens? The water under the two impervious layer and when we take well or bore well into this such type of aquifer the water comes on their surface such aquifer is called as artesian aquifer and the well is called as artesian well so this is again type of confined aquifer so I hope this video 
is useful to you if you like my video share and subscribe my youtube channel that is geo entire all about the earth